All right, y'all, you already know, man, LDBC. So, and I'll, I'll, let me say this. I, I think people, some some people misunderstand how a lot of us feel about Bronny. I know just like a lot of y'all, I want to see Bronny succeed. Uh, I believe that we want to see Bronny be the, ver the best version of him, just like a lot of us have been fans of Bronny. And even though while some people may truly dislike LeBron, most people don't have a problem with LeBron, uh, with how he, how he raises kids and how, you know, he been uh i guess a philanthropist uh as far as like you know doing schools and and giving back i think i know he's gonna pay for a lot of kids colleges so we salute him on that right uh salute to you on that lebron but i think but the majority of the fans right the the nine to fivers right the people who who we got to work five days a week and get two days off and then we if inflation already high so then we gotta we gotta pay for a high power bill, high water bill, gas is high, food is high, and then some of us are paying even for NBA league pass and, and for the NBA to try to force this situation on us. And, and, and look, look, we, I get it. A lot of us, it's a business, right? It's a business. But then you get mad and even corporate media, y'all try to shadow ban us for just giving our opinion about about Bronny. See, most of us, nobody says Bronny's a bad person. Nobody says Bronny, uh, I don't hear people like talk about his character. Everybody, everybody says, you know, it seems like LeBron and Savannah raised him right. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about basketball. And, and if we're paying all this money for league fast, we want to see the best product out there. Bronny at this moment does not look like the best product. He doesn't look like a finished product and I'm talking about an NBA product. And 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 some people like myself, right? I wanted to see Bronny go pro. But after I got to watching him, I'm like, okay, well, this is going to, it, it may take two, three years. Jordan, it took Jordan three years. Dame did four years. Ben Wallace did multiple years, right? Uh, Gilbert Arenas, Rip Hamilton, so on and so forth. But we have been pressured. We have pressured these, these kids or these young men into this one and done rule. It's like, oh, if you're not one and done, you're pretty much a bust. Even though John Morant, who they want to be the face of the NBA, or one of the faces of the NBA, played two years at Murray State. Could you imagine if Bronny was his second year at USC right now? He might have the confidence, honestly, to be out there. But because he was thrown into the fire, it just, it just looks like it. And, and then some people can say, oh, well, why are you talking about him? How many 55th overall picks? I mean, I do know Isaiah Thomas became a good pick, and I believe he was a 60th pick. Not Isaiah Thomas for the Pistons, but the one that uh, played for the Celtics and multiple other teams, right? The one from my era, the millennial era. He played with LeBron for the Cavaliers too briefly. But when we're talking about star power, right? Star influence. I didn't see Bronny on 2K commercials. I didn't see Bronny on all these uh, men's health, uh, Nike, so on and so forth, right? Okay, so y'all y'all promoting him, and I believe he has one of the top selling jerseys. I can't I can't critique his game, even though the NBA is promoting him like a star. LeBron and Clutch Sports is promoting him like a star, even though he's not playing like a star or 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 a role player. And when when I say something like that, or two raw or ticket or seventy eight or or other members of the LBC, LDBC or even just in independent media in general we're considered haters and for my detractors go back and look at my very first videos that i did on this channel and you'll see that one of my first videos is what what can we learn from lebron and Bronny? how lebron was trying to manifest stuff with his kids manifest things with his son but what we got to understand is what come manifestation you still got to put practice into it Bronny was not ready man and the nba espn fox and uh all these CBS, all these other people, you can't force on to us that he's a ready-made a ready product and that we're hating on him. No, we're not. Nobody can ever hear me say that I went on here and talked about Bronny's character as a person. And for me to say all, say all this, right? Because I know y'all saying, well, well, man, why are you going on, on a rant? Because I, I think we have to understand that we want to see nepotism in our community. We want to see it. The people who, who we give it to, man, you got to be ready for it. And it's, it's got to happen at the right time. So Ron Harper, who played multiple years in college, retweeted what Ryan Clark said, and I made a previous video about it, basically stating that he doesn't understand why Bronny doesn't want to prove it within himself. And uh, as far as like, you know, riding with the team, playing in away games, I think because Bronny doesn't, he doesn't know that type of route. I don't think Bronny knows about scraping and scratching to get to the top. Denzel Washington Sons, right? I remember... Uh, What's his son? His son played for uh, Morehouse down here in Atlanta. And he was doing a Breakfast Club interview, John David Washington. 
But he was talking about like how he was living with a small TV in college, and uh, I can't remember if he said no money. It was something he said, and Charlemagne trying to make a joke about it. This was years ago. But I feel what his, what his son was trying to do. He was trying to do was he did his own path, right? He ended up playing football, went to Morehouse, and then I I know he was in the league to some uh, capacity. Then he went the acting route, but he was he was trying, he was getting it on his own. So when he told Charlemagne about that TV, he probably could live in a in a a mansion down here with his dad of course his dad being one of the greatest actors of all time he he, he could have easily been living it up but I, you can tell looking back that no he was trying to make his own way pay pave his own path Bronny's going to have to do that now did lebron and rich paul do him a solid by putting him on the lakers no you know you put him on, on the one of the most story talked about franchise it, you know how many people i know growing up that was running around lakers fans kobe and shaq this is just my generation and a lot of y'all generation the late 90s to, to mid 2000s you know how many people was laker fans in the 80s and 70s you know how many people was laker fans back then magic and kareem and so on and so forth and he's play he's playing on that team but then they don't want us to say nothing you know so but this is this is one reason why basketball isn't where it used to be and uh I, and uh, salute to the brother Turaw again. I remember watching, listening to one of his videos, and I agree. Growing up, you knew all the players, majority of players on each team. Yeah, Jordan was the face, but I knew who the majority of players was. I, I look forward to watching the NBA. I didn't have the, I, I can't remember if it was called League Pass back then, but whatever it was, I didn't have it at one point. And, um, I, but I couldn't wait to watch every game, even playing the games. Had what? Kobe Bryant NBA core side. Do y'all remember the Bulls versus the Blazers? I think it was the 92 playoffs. They, it, was, it was a couple of series. I think they had the Bulls versus Lakers, too. Hell, even NBA Jam. I mean, if we can tell you when people I know play NBA Jam, people loved the NBA back in the day. You remember you would try to dunk so hard to break, you would try to dunk so many times to break the rim. <laughs> and when you break the rim, if I remember right, didn't it freeze briefly or slow down a little bit? The, the, show the effects. So, you know, we, were, we, we remember those, those type of things. And it's like, the NBA has kind of moved on to, it's almost like reality TV. I'm a little bit older than some of my audience, or, you know, a lot of us remember the real world. It's like the NBA became that. You got players crying, and, uh, you know, you're making all this money, but you whining. And I say all that to say, Bronny's making all this money. He has all this fame, but none of us can can, can critique him, you know, and, and watch them try to go at Ron Harper. And don't be surprised if Ron Harper cleaned it up. And all he did was do a retweet, or, or if they come at Ryan Clark, you know. But guess what? The way to the way to solve all this, the way to resolve all this, is just to start winning. If he go out there get because Bron, Bron, LeBron been cooking, I'm gonna get credit with credit to do. Bron been cooking. If Bron they go out there and start cooking, even in the G League, that will quiet majority of the people. You know, so so people gotta understand, man. With all this critiquing, man, winning solves everything. But I just wanna get my quick thoughts about it, man. Don't forget to hit the like button, and subscribe, share, man, all that good stuff, man. We on our way to a thousand, man. You know, which is crazy because I remember when I first started, I was shocked when I had 15, man. So we, you know, you know, so it's, it's truly honor, man, for my subscribers to have my subscribers and also the people who, you know, even if they don't hit the like, even if they hit the, hit the dislike button or have something bad to say, man, I salute to all y'all, man, because if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. But let me know what y'all think.